Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today we're going to be talking a lot about manual sharing and kind of what it is and how to share manually. So manual sharing is a part of the record level security family of features and they work really closely to help open up records to people who wouldn't necessarily already have access. So there are two different types of record sharing that I kind of want to touch here. There is going to be sharing rules and then there's going to be manual sharing. So sharing rules are ways that you can either based upon criteria or based upon the owner share a record with another person. So let's say you had uh, a group of opportunities and any time it was above, let's say $100,000, you'd want to share that with your high cap sales coaches. So anytime an opportunity is above $100,000, you it would be shared with that group of coaches so then they could help you close that deal better and have a better chance of closing that deal. So that would be um, a criteria-based sharing rule. Or let's say anytime that you have an opportunity, it's always going to be shared with your sales coach who isn't necessarily on your team or is your manager, but they're just another person. Uh, so that's that has a rhyme or a reason, both of those scenarios. Any of your records are going to be shared with your coach. Any records over $100,000 are going to be shared with this, this group of people. Those are different rhymes and reasons, and that's when you'd want to use a sharing rule. Now, manual sharing helps us to share on a record-by-record -record basis, um, one by one, where there isn't necessarily a rhyme or reason. You don't want to continue sharing records, but you just want to share this one to get maybe assistance on this opportunity or to understand a little bit more in depth. So I'm going to go over two opportunities and I will go ahead and show you how to manually share. All right. So over here on the right corner, I'm going to go and hit sharing. I'm going to search for Orion. I know that I have Orion in here and let's say he is going to help me on this opportunity. Now there's a few different things that we can choose to do here. We can choose read only or read write. So what kind of access you'll have to the uh, Burlington Textiles Weaving Plant Generator opportunity. Um, if it's just read only, so then he'd be able to read it and then slack me some response or just look at it or read right where he'd be able to edit it. So now there's other ways that we can share rather than just based upon a user. You can share it with a public group, role, role and subordinates or just users like we have. So now that we have set this, I'm going to hit share. Nope, I'm going to hit save. And then it will share it with him and he will be able to read and um, edit this opportunity based upon what he thinks is necessary. So that is manual sharing in a nutshell and kind of when you'd want to use it. It's kind of those one-off random scenarios that don't necessarily have a rhyme or a reason that can be duplicated or really need to be duplicated on a going forward basis. But anyways, I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a like, subscribe. You can check out the courses down below in the description box or on salesforceupskill.com. You can connect with me on LinkedIn and Twitter at Emily Call MBA. Thank you so much and I'll catch you guys in the next one.